put off by how long this video is, don't worry. I tend to jam-pack my videos with as much content, as many details as I possibly can, and I try to talk pretty fast. So while the video is a bit on the long side, I don't repeat myself, and I get into a lot of details about the subject that, you know, pretty much anything that I feel I can comment on and that I think you might find interesting. But hey, if the video is just too long for you to watch, chances are I recorded a shorter version, and the link will be in the description box. It's not an inferior video, it's merely a Cliff's Notes version of this very video. Lawless Moon Review. This is about a mostly harmless substance that gives a lot of people great joy and even has some medicinal purposes. But enough about the war on marijuana. No, this movie is about the Prohibition era, where there were many a moonshiner because people still wanted to get drunk. And this follows the legendary Bondurant brothers, and their brother Jack, played by Shadow Love. They were pretty well feared in Franklin County in Virginia, and then one day that threatened to be changed when a, a federal agent was called in to clean up. And that pretty well covers sort of the main plot. There are various subplots or driving threads in the overall plot, such as Jack's wanting to be seen as more of an equal by his two brothers, and yeah, his, his efforts at that. And there are two very sweet, very charming romances. And yeah, I, it's really not a spoiler to say it's basically Jack courts this priest's daughter. And I think they're like Quakers or something. And that's a big no-no. He, the, the, the father does not like that one bit. And then there is Forrest, the, excuse me, I guess the boss of the three brothers. It, it certainly seems so. It's, you know, it's, it's Tom Hardy. And he is just always a powerful on-screen presence. I, I don't blame them for fearing the Bond rents. I think it's just him they fear. You know, Shia might come and ah, I, I got my car that transforms, and they're like, yeah, okay, so whatever you say, just don't, don't put on the mask, don't hold us ransom with a nuclear device. Anyway, yeah, he's, he's kind of the, the boss, and he's, he's seriously badass, and then a city girl walks in their little store, and then he is very mute. He's, and it's, it's actually, I shouldn't be saying this as a guy, but okay, if I... If I were a girl, no, that doesn't work either. Anyway, a lot of girls are going to find him adorable. Yeah, I just went and screwed it up anyway. Never mind. Yeah, he's... He, she just really... You know, cat's got his tongue whenever she's around. And it's... It's very believable. You, you get the sense that he's never been good with girls, and it is this, you, you have this big mountain of a man who has no trouble pummeling people to make a point, and then there's a girl, and he doesn't know what to say at all. 
even though in other situations he is, he certainly has a way with words, so yeah. And definitely isn't afraid to voice his opinion. I think that pretty well covers all the plot. Anyway, I suppose I really should say if sort of the the quality of the movie. It's a quite good movie. It's definitely very well made. It is basically what we've seen before, and there are pacing issues. It, it a lot of it is very entertaining, but there were points where I felt like the plot wasn't really moving ahead. And as you're also very... I should make very clear, this is not an action movie. I felt like some of the advertising made it look a little bit like that. I, I didn't walk in expecting an action movie, but it definitely is not an action movie. Those clips you see in the trailer that make it look like there's gonna be action, there is there is not a single action scene in this movie. There are these... Actually, that, that brings me nicely into sort of the way this deals with what would be action. The movie is very clean cut. There's... it, it has a sort of... or not clean cut, it's... It's quaint. It, it's, it's like looking at old pictures or an old... It's, it's very reminiscing about the way back then. And then, all of a sudden, there's a burst of violence. And it's, it's very bloody and brutal and unpleasant. Punches hurt. And there are lasting consequences. People bruise. People don't feel so good. People beg for mercy. And that's, that's really every single scene that could have been an action scene in this movie. The, the violence is really palpable. You, you feel like the, the, the blood is almost going to spray on you or something. Now, one of the real strengths of this movie is that it is a detail-heavy, thoroughly authentic period piece. Everything feels real and, and very vivid. You feel like you could almost smell the whiskey on someone's breath or sense the fabric of something. I'm going into the girly area again. I don't, I don't know why. The acting is really good through and through. I can't think of a single performance in this that I did not... Even Chia. Yeah, anyway, the, the, all the acting, quite good. Even Chia, the, and this is also one of the few movies where I did not find him violently obnoxious. Now... One of the real standout roles is Guy Pierce as the federal agent that gets brought in. He is really... He's, he's one of the more memorable characters. There is this sort of dualism of... He's very effeminate. The, and at the same time, He's one of the most brutal men. I mean, this is a tale of brutal men and the battles between brutal men. The, the basic... It, it could almost just as well have been set you know, a thousand years prior or something and been warlords or something. Yeah. And anyway, Pierce... There, there's this... Yeah, he, he has... He always wears gloves. And doesn't want anything to dirty up the gloves, or his clothes in general. And... 
and yeah, he's all all of the characters are quite realistic, and many of them now feel like there are nuances to them. I really enjoyed uh, the Day De Han of Chronicle in a supporting role. Cricket, I think, is... There, there are a lot of names in this movie, so forgive me if I forget. He, he's this... He, he has some trouble with his legs, and he, he helps Jack with the, the plans about the business, trying to impress the brothers. The, as, as I said, it's a very entertaining movie. There is a lot of humor and much of it is sort of a little twisted or a little... It, it should almost be unpleasant. I'm not sure there's really anything I can give away of that. Yeah, I, I I really don't want to spoil any of it, but it is a very fun film. The, the laughing throughout, pretty much. There is not an awful lot of Hollywood in it, but it does contain some elements of it. And I suppose that more or less. It should also be said that there are definitely some Western touches to this. It reminded me a lot of Sergio Leone with these quirky details and sort of every every character and every location has sort of a story to it and people are just making their the, people are just getting by they whatever they have to do to get by now that might more or less cover it I should talk a little bit more about the, the, the filming and the editing is really well done. The name of the director escapes me at the moment, but he is very, very talented. John Hillcoat, I think. I have only seen one other movie by him, The Road, although that one I absolutely love. That If he hadn't been attached to this movie, I might not have watched it. Even with Bane as one of the main characters, or main actors, and yeah, he just really, the, the, the movie is visually interesting throughout, without that ever taking charge. The dialogue is great, and there are a lot of memorable lines, and really quotable lines. And also on that, everyone really sounds like they're, uh, like they come from where they should be coming from. It. There is, the, the dialect is nailed by everyone. And the people who, excuse me, th there are a few characters who are from the city, such as the uh, federal agent. And... You can tell, if you, if you listen to the way they speak, you can tell that they're not from Franklin, which is really cool. And that's, it's consistent throughout. There, it, it never sounds like someone, in a lot of these movies where it really helps that they're speaking in the correct dialect. Some of the actors might mess it up, or sometimes not even bother at all. And in this, there was nothing of that sort. Yeah, that's it.
to please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.